A quick word of Torah before we continue. You know, as we continue to live through COVID-19, I can't help but wonder if maybe Noah, the protagonist of our Torah reading this morning, maybe Noah should be our role model. After all, Noah was the first human being to manage a quarantine. Now, the Torah does not say that Noah hoarded toilet paper, but I bet he did. You know, we've been cooped up in our own arcs, physically and in some ways metaphorically, since March. And like Noah, while like Noah, we are doing our utmost to stay safe from the dangers outside, we are at risk of loneliness and depression. Today, we read about Noah exiting the ark. The Zohar, a mystical commentary on the Torah, taught that Noah complained to God once he left the ark and he saw the destruction. He complained that God should have been more forgiving. And God responded to Noah, I chose you, a righteous man, an ish tzaddik, because I thought you would seek compassion for humanity. But as soon as as you heard that you would be saved, the evil of the world did not touch your heart. You built your ark and you saved yourself. In other words, God was a little disappointed with Noah, saying that he should have prayed on behalf of his generation and he should have called upon them to do tshuva, to change their ways. An instructor at the Jewish Theological Seminary, Yitz Landis, wrote this, It is hard in our own arcs to think beyond ourselves, but the challenges facing our generation are simply far too great for us to ignore as we weather out the storm. Even as we focus on our very own survival, we must fight and pray for the survival of our entire world. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom.